In a world where rich CEOs can't stop risen those xenomorphs. Oh. 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 Where people love to put their faces next to weird alien goo. You know, sometimes we like to go on adventures and look at wet eggs, you know? I love this egg. We look like doing it too. One group of plucky young kids will learn why you shouldn't poke around in evil space laboratory. Get ready to have your face hugged and your throats violated with aliens. Romulus. It's hugging my bro. <laughs> when the trailer for Aliens Romulus dropped, I, like many others, was pretty hopeful because it looked like this film was a return to form to what made the original Aliens so special. Gone were the over-the-top spectacles that made no sense. No more brain-dead attempts to explain things that no one cared about. Just a couple of random average Joes who, unfortunately, come across an alien. Focusing more on the fear and claustrophobia of being trapped in space while being hunted by a monster they do not understand. So, with a hopeful heart, I grabbed my cat, zipped up my spacesuit, and went to go see Aliens Romulus. And it was... just okay. I think this film was a good first step in the right direction for the Aliens franchise overall, which I appreciate as a fan, and I hope that they continue to go down this path, but it just wasn't quite there yet. Returning to a simple, straightforward narrative was a good decision, especially after whatever the hell this dumpster fire of a movie was supposed to be. However, the narrative doesn't really make sense when you think about it, and they sacrifice a lot of good plot points for pointless memberberry moments, which is really unfortunate to see. But like I said, I think they're headed in the right direction as a franchise, they just have some more work to do. So for my highbrow critic score, I give Aliens Romulus a 6 out of 10. And for my Schmo score, the score for the average Joe Schmo, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now, this is the part where I explain my review scores, and I can't do that without spoiling a few lesser things. So, if you would like to see Aliens Romulus spoiler free, this is where we part ways. Thanks for showing up, and I hope you have a nice day. Let's first start off with the things I really liked about this movie, because there was a lot of good stuff in here. As I mentioned, returning to a simple narrative that focuses on fear, remembering that Aliens is first and foremost a horror story, not some epic space tragedy. Also, the cinematography is fantastic in this film. It is an absolute throwback to the original Aliens film, with compelling camera angles, actual real sets, and heavily relying on practical effects instead of CGI. I really think they found the right balance of practical and CGI in this film, and it looks great and feels real. This movie also introduces a lot of cool ideas, like playing with gravity and how that can help or hinder you in space giving the guns auto aim assist, making it more believable as to how these average civilians who have probably never held a gun before can use them so well. Like I said, there's a lot of good things in this movie. Unfortunately, there is also a lot of bad things in this, mostly in the writing department. So the plot of this movie is people are basically being enslaved by the company who is making it impossible to leave this planet unless of course you work for them long enough in the deadly dangerous mines and everyone kind of knows that they are never really going to let you leave or be free and they're just gonna work you till you die. Hey, just like real life, it's so relatable. 
Realizing this, a group of young people happen to detect an abandoned space station floating just above the planet. And this station has the necessary resources they need in order to leave this planet for good. So they sneak aboard the abandoned space station to steal the goods and alien hijinks ensue. <laughs> you know. Now, you may already see some of the problems with this narrative. Like how no one else on the planet detected this massive station that's just floating over their head. Especially if it holds the key to their freedom. Wouldn't there be a lot of people racing to get the goods so they can escape this hellhole of a planet? Nope. Just these kids. Okay. Also, this space station holds some of the company's most valuable assets and investments on it. Wouldn't they have sent some recovery teams to retrieve all of that stuff? Or at least, wouldn't they have sent some guards to make sure no one else steals any of it? These are all great questions that will never be answered. Because the answer is for the plot to work, which is ultimately bad writing. And this movie is plagued with, the more you think about it, the more it doesn't make sense. Like the aliens being able to recognize human guns and will hold back from attacking if you point one at them. How do the aliens know what guns are, especially since they hadn't been fired at them yet? For the plot, of course. Also, there's a point where one of the main characters directly causes the death of someone who is closely connected to another character right in front of them, and that character could not be bothered at all by this. Which, you know, most people would react to watching someone they love being killed in front of them, but this character doesn't. Which not only goes against simple human behavior, it also goes against the personality that this film established for this particular character. And the reason for this is, again, the plot needs them to act this way. So there's a lot of things narrative-wise that need to be fixed. Lastly, I mentioned how much I loved the real set pieces and practical effects in this film. Well, they ruin all of that effort and hard work for one stupid member berry. Member edits? Member? There's a character that plays a crucial part throughout the narrative, and for that part, they decided to cast a legacy character. But the person who originally played that character has passed away. So they decided to deep fake their face onto another actor. And it was such a disgustingly stupid decision, all for a member berry. Because it constantly rips you out of the story when you go from seeing realistic practical effects to this CGI monstrosity that just looks terrible. And the worst part is they absolutely did not need to do this. Because the part they play could have been played by anyone. Hell, it could have been done by a toaster and it wouldn't have changed the narrative at all. Which means they intentionally made their entire movie worse just for a member berry moment. Ugh, it just dragged the whole movie down because of how big of a part they play in the story. And it just cheapened the whole experience. So there it is. I like the overall direction they are going in. They just need to hire some better writers or at least some better editors. And of course, no more deep faking dead people's faces. It doesn't look good, and it makes your film worse. So, do I think you need to see Aliens Romulus in theaters? Not really. If you're a die-hard Aliens fan, sure, have at it. It's got some good stuff in there. But if you're a casual fan or just indifferent to the whole Aliens franchise, you can probably just wait till it comes out on a streaming service. Anyways, thanks for being here. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you at the next one.